Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Big Fish Lad. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Paul. Um, also guys, if you're new, you're existing, and you've not subscribed to the channel, do us a favor, press the subscribe button and ping the bell while you're there for notifications. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna talk about the, so I've got a carpenter cyclist, so we're gonna talk about that, but I'm gonna talk about the difference between a carpenter cyclid and a Texas cyclid. Now, remember guys, this is my experience, my opinion. So, you may not agree with me and that's fine, um, but this is just my experience and this is my thoughts. So, if you don't agree with me, that's okay. But if you do agree with me and you have any extra information you wanna add, stick it in the comments, guys. But like I said, this is just one fish keeper's opinion because I am a fish keeper like all you out there. So, my YouTube channel is there to educate if I can, uh, be educated and hopefully try and entertain with my fish. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna look at my carpenters and we're gonna talk about the differences between the carpenter's cichlid and the Texas cichlid. And everybody calls both the Texas cichlid and that's fine, no problem. You call it what you like, but let's just talk about the difference between the carpenter's cichlid and the Texas cichlid in this video. So, it's been a good day in the fish room today, so I cleaned all my tanks, all the algae, so all the tanks are looking perfect. Can you see? Trigger, the light's not great, let me see if I can move that way. There's Trigger in the corner, and there's Baloo, the carpenter's, and that's who we're gonna be talking about. So, without further ado guys, let's get over to his tank and let's discuss the difference between both fish. Okay, so we're at Baloo's tank. Who's having a nosy there? He's having a nosy. He's wondering what's going on. He's wondering why I'm at Baloo's tank and not his. Looking good in it anyway. We're not here to talk about you, Trigger. We're here to talk about this guy here. So, this is Baloo the Carpenters, and he is in his favourite spot under that uh, root wood. I had to take the watermelon plec out, guys, because the watermelon plec wanted to reside under there too, and the carpenters was having none of it. Anyway, okay, so what we're we gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the difference. Now, I'll be honest with you, and I'll tell you for why I'm doing this video. Because probably one of the most, most debated, most questioned asked on my Instagram account is about this fish. So, if I ever post a fit picture of this carpenters, I will be corrected on numerous occasions that it's a Texas. I will be asked what the difference between the two are. There is so many different questions and debates. So I thought I'd give you my opinion on this, this debate. So anyway, this is the Carpenter Cichlid and you've seen him before and he's absolutely beautiful. We know that, he loves to hide under there. So if he comes out guys, we'll get a proper good look at him. And I have also had a Texas Cichlid, as you know, unfortunately, it didn't last very long, we lost him and that was really sad, but there's completely big differences between the two. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pop a picture up of each fish, and you can have a look at the picture and, and, and I visually see the difference between the two. So I'm just gonna pop that picture up now, guys. Okay, so, top picture is of my, my Texas that I had not long ago. The bottom picture is of Baloo the Carpenters. In that picture, you can clearly see the difference in colour. Now that, I wouldn't overthink that bit because it depends on which sort of like colour mode they're in. But that's genuinely the colour that I would see them both at. Pattern wise, you can see that what I said about the splodges on the Carpenters and the finer, more lined up um, splodges or spots on the Texas Cichlid. But an amazing thing that I was told not that long ago is that the Texas cichlid has a brighter yellow eye and the carpenters has a duller yellow eye. And actually, in that picture, you can see that it's, it's, it's there. And I only learned that in my comments from a video not long ago. So thank you to whoever sent me that comment. Sorry, I can't remember your name right now, but you did 
re-educate me and that's my point about being me learning as well but yeah you can see a clear difference and it's only that's only one texas and one carpenters but you can see a clear clear difference in that picture and when you put them next to each other you really see it so yeah i just thought i'd show you that guys you know let you have a look at the difference and talk about the eye bit as well it's interesting that isn't it okay so the picture actually when you see them together they look quite different don't they they look very different he's proper hiding that now today isn't he and um, they look very very different and you know the there is they are they are actually separate fish and it's not a debate i want to go into but they are separate fish and you as you can see with the carpenters the carpenters had the the splodge like the i would say the um so they were, they're like big splodges aren't they but they're not very regimental whereas the spots on the texas were quite regimental in in, in line if that makes sense um there is i think there's a, the sort of carpenters that is, and again, this is only my experience. The Carpenters is a deeper blue. I've had an Escondido and I've had a, a Rio Hondo and they're both a lot bluer than the Texas that I have and the Texas as I've seen. But yeah, this is the Carpenters cichlid. And you know what? This is true, this. I've heard Andy say it and I have experienced this as well. If I was to put a video on YouTube and label it the Carpenters cichlid, it would hardly get any views but if i label it the texas cichlid it gets a whole lot more views so as you can imagine this fish is more commonly known as the texas cichlid the, the other difference as well is the growth so your, your carpenters is only going to get about 10 inches whereas your um true set techless texas cichlid is going to get to about 12 inches here he comes oh he's getting a bit braver he's getting a bit braver I mean, I say this every time. I've said it about all my carpenters. How beautiful are they? How beautiful are they? Where does this fish stand, guys? Let me know. Where does it stand for you? Because I take it that a lot of my viewers are into Central American cichlids. Where does it stand for you on best looking fish? Let me know in the comments where it stands for you on the best looking fish. Yeah, let me know on that, guys. So they're the differences guys and, and it's not big difference but when you see it like you saw it in the picture you know they look very different don't they they do look very very different um anyway so yeah this is obviously my rio hondo and it's baloo he's to be honest with you guys just um so that the, you know he's got all that feisty there because trigger the trimax come over so that really sets him off it really makes him become a get a personality but a lot of the time he doesn't do much he's not a big eater so i was like the other day i was thinking of maybe trying him back in the community tank but i've i've my bottle went guys i don't want to risk it i don't i just he can be quite territorial so i thought i'm just not going to take the risk but you see him then with the trimax he's worse than the trimax when they go head to head in that glass he is much worse anyway we talked about that before haven't we so yeah i just wanted to do, tell you my opinion and my experience on the difference and remember it is only my opinion and my experience anyway guys just a quickie just to have that little debate and you know see if we can cause maybe a little bit more of a debate on youtube as opposed to instagram so anyway guys let's go and wrap this video up have one last look at baloo and then we'll go and wrap it up guys so there it is my opinion on the difference with the texas cichlid and the carpenter cichlid again guys i don't yeah if you've been watching me for long enough you'll know that i don't really like to overcomplicate stuff but you know i do get asked that question a hell of a lot and i do have that debate with people you know i'm fine if people want to call it i mean i've heard it called the blue texas um I, you know i've already called a few things but that is what i own is the carpenter's cichlid so anyway we'll call it a day there guys um so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you're not subscribed guys like i said before it does help me out so um come and join the big fast big fish lad family i'm out i will see you on the next video so thanks for watching see you next time